ridiculously good looking. Oh, oh my god! We, um, we, uh, we interrupt this uh, amazing weekly assembly for a breaking news bulletin. Good evening, I'm Oscar Cox and this is Tyres Hill News. A major scientific discovery has just taken place. We're crossing now to Dr Liana Atkins, reporting live from NASA to uh, announce this amazing phenomenon. We have just discovered a new galaxy consisting of 29 exoplanets. Let's, cro let's cross live to the satellites that are orbiting the Fun, free and delicious. Candy Kingdom is located close to the centre of the OC solar system, which is where we are now. Candy Kingdom was formed when some random space junk candy came together to create this mouth-watering paradise. We go now to Chelsea, who is currently speaking to Bob, one of this planet's many colourful critters. Hey, are you here to interview me or something? Yeah, we are actually. So what's life like on Candy Kingdom, Bob? Great, actually, but we have to avoid the Great Bite because it's like a total safety hazard. So what's the Great Bite, Bob? So like, the Great Bite is this massive hole in the planet which was formed when the candy god sort of got hungry. So, yeah. Thanks for your time, Bob. Well, my time is very precious, so you're lucky you even got it. Hello everyone and welcome to the OC News. <laughs> Recently, we have discovered a brand new planet in the OC solar system. His bag is really. The name of the new planet we have discovered is called Burnlandia. It's a planet full of birds. The average temperature is 20 degrees. It has one moon and a cool fact that Tim is, the scientist has discovered is that Burnlandia is the size of an atom. We hope to discover more facts if Timmy's in to help. Thanks, Barry. How about we go over... According to my scientific calculations, every 100 years, the planet grows 1,000 of a millimetre. But we have no evidence. Though we know that there are no humans on the planet, there are just thousands of different species of birds. Thanks, Timmy. That's all for tonight. But stay tuned tomorrow. And good night, O.S. is Saturn's twin. When the Big Bang happened, they got separated and Letterland drifted away and soon became part of the OC solar system. This planet's temperature ranges from 0 to 100 degrees Celsius. This planet is entirely inhabited by letters. This planet's ring is made of each letter of the alphabet in stone. This planet has one moon orbiting it called Eurus. This planet is about three times as big as Earth. Letterland has a very low danger level. This planet takes 7.3 years to orbit Miss Armstrong's face and rotates on its axis in 24.9 Earth days. Once upon a time! Awesome! And just before Mother Gong, we start crashed into it, taking a huge chunk from it. The junk then travelled from galaxy to galaxy until it came to rest in the OC solar system, but it had not been floating around long when it collided with an asteroid, smashing it into bits. Inside the asteroid were four different coloured crystals. These crystals were the four elemental seasons found in Celestrae to this day. The crystals grew and grew, merging together to create the legendary planet known as Celestrae. Now the planet is divided into four seasons, set in different time zones. These seasons are places, not times. The seasons are full of candy. For example, cream sunny sea for summer and caramel clouds in autumn. The skin people of Celestrae, incapable of having too much sugar, and their teeth will never rot. But Celestrae was not always so perfect. Once in its early stages, a war brewed between the seasons. They built chocolate walls between the seasons, and they were not allowed to leave their zone. 
But the people put aside their differences and united to make one nation. The war that terrorized the planet for so many years was over. Now if you happen to pass by Celeste Ferrari in the galaxy today, you'll see the candy people playing side by side, happily whizzing to and fro between the seasons. Bye! 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 Hello and welcome. My name is Kaluna. I have recently been discovered in the Aussie solar system by a mad scientist. I am home to some very angry, angry natives who will eat you if you get in their way. Anyway, this planet is twice the size of Jupiter. I came into existence when two smaller planets, called Jaco and Ryokuna, collided and fused together. Then, unknown gases in my atmosphere fused to create the Navi, a blue-skinned amphibious creatures who are all natural hunters. There is a chasm and a river that run the length of me. I have eight moons and my danger level is 87%. The floating islands off the top of me are a result of Earth trying to escape my strong gravitational pull. The, my ring is made of ice and dust particles that came from Jaco and Ryokuna together. I have only one more question for you before you go. Do you think you taste good because the Navi are about to eat you and they are behind you? The planet Kaiju is over 5 billion years old and has been around longer than the solar system itself. It is roughly the size of Mars. It is not dangerous at all. It is inhabited by strange llama and unicorn-like creatures that can vary in shapes, colors, and sizes. Primelid has its own language called the Mori lingo. The planet has five moons, Kaidosar, Semro, Lime, Renos, and Tiny. Tiny got its name from its twine-like ribs connecting each small piece of moon. The temperature on Samo is 652 degrees Celsius to 743 degrees Celsius. There is no life on Samo due to the soaring temperatures. Kaido Sa in the Mori lingo means oval. The other two moons, Reno's and Lima, have not yet been explored thoroughly. Reno's is named after its exotic plants. The environment on Lima has bizarre effects on living things that doesn't inhabit any life. It can turn things weird colours and make them glow. Lima is nearly opposite to Reno's in the way the environment works. Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, welcome to the greatest documentary you've ever seen. Welcome to Coralis. It's time for the backstory of our lovely planet. One Earth day, one of Saturn's moons looked at Saturn with the deepest of expression and thought that this was the end. He tried to flee but was trapped in Saturn's orbit. Finally, after centuries of trying, he finally broke free and flew into the OC solar system. It took 15 years to reach the OC solar system, only just catching orbit and not flying into the sun this time. Now it is time for some random facts. The temperature has been recorded by almost dying to around 30 to 40 degrees because of the lava inside the planet. There is one moon called Visvel. The terrain is between a sm swamp and a desert, basically very, very muddy. It has one core called the Discord core. The aliens have their own language called Coral Speak. Hello. Welcome to Imperio 5. It is inhabited by strange and deadly creatures, sea creatures, and giant creatures spiders. The origin of Imperio 5. In a far solar system, there are two planets, Moltares and Pisifo. Moltares crashed into the sun and two bits flew off. Moltaria crashed into Pisifo and made Imperio 5. Then they floated into the OC solar system.
thank you for joining us tonight for this breaking news bulletin. I'm Oscar Cox, and from all of us here, good night. <laughs>